a lot, which is, okay, so last night I, I did record a video, um, but the audio apparently was a little fucked up. So I decided to uh, reshoot the video today when I'm in my own space and uh, able to have my setup the way I want it, um, at least with all the tools and shit. Um, but basically the question I was asked was, do the tarot cards, do these cards uh, automatically attract negative forces or evil? Uh, do they attract like all things bad? Apparently, uh, someone, the individual who, who came to me and asked a question, uh, they were watching some YouTube videos and, and a few sources or whatnot express that um, when you work with the cards, you better raise your vibration and do these protections and all this other shit because when you work with the cards, somehow um, it just attracts negative, negative energies, negative forces, uh, which is a bunch of bullshit. It's, uh, that's just ignorance. That's, uh, that is just, that creates fear. That creates, um, disharmony. And that's not okay. Um, it's just, it's just not okay. It's not healthy. And, you know, when someone's trying to learn something, you don't want to automatically, uh, create this fear, uh, fear-based belief, you know, the seed that you plant, and, and they'll take it with them, you know? And now they're gonna be freaking out every time they, you know, shuffle the cards, every time they work with the cards because they're gonna wonder, am I bringing something negative in? And when they have a negative experience um, or when they have, you know, some negative shit going on, they're gonna blame it on these goddamn pieces of paper. And that's not okay. You know, these, these are individuals who could be who have the potential to be pretty awesome at, at reading the cards. And, and you have people telling them all these negative perceptions. And if this is their belief, they should state it as such. And, and if you're going to state your belief, if you're going to state that, that, you know, tarot uh, attracts evil or attracts um, negative forces, then you best back your shit up and you best explain why explain what the fuck you mean because if you don't then these individuals who who are wanting to learn they they watch your video and they think that it, uh, apparently they think that it's true or, or it, it, even if they don't think it's fully true it plants a seed that seed of doubt that seed of um what if and, and again that is not beneficial um the cards, to me, the cards are neutral. They're, you know, honestly, they're paper and color and, you know, symbols and imagery. It's, uh, it's not something that naturally attracts one thing or the other. It is the, the reader who taps into the flow and the energy of the cards to produce results. Now, as as time progresses, I do feel that each deck has a life and, and personality of its own. And the more we work with them, the more they start to show their you know unique nature. But that's you know after many uses in readings and, and many energetic exchanges. That's different though, and that's not something that's automatically attracting one or the other. Now. And you know there are tarot readers who uh, don't, who claim not to be psychic. They they just they lay down, perfect card. <laughs> they lay down the card and they express what they see. They they take in you know the elemental correspondences. They take in the imagery. They take in the color symbolism. They uh, they allow these images and symbols and, and colors and such to uh, filter through their internal library, their internal perceptions, and then they relay the message. So 
that's, you know, for some, some people do call in spirit. Some people do call in energies. Um, and they usually work with like their higher selves or spirit guides or, you know, something of that sort, uh, something that is a, a higher vibrational expression. Uh, and, you know, once you raise energy, once you start doing things, of course, you act as a beacon and energies are attracted to that. But that is something that's not, that has nothing to do with the cards themselves. Um, and everything to do with the actual reader, the energy. Um, yeah. So don't let people try and scare you out of uh, reading the cards. And if you do have those fears, um, it's best that you work through them. It's best that you start to uh, do what you can to release them because those fears will hold you back. And uh, you can implement, you know, uh, different protective, um, uh, different routines or different techniques of protection when you're reading. You can, you know, if you have your cards, you can uh, maybe grid your, your station or your, wherever you're reading, grid it with some smoky quartz, black tourmaline, uh, grid it with um, all anything really that is to help that anything that is utilized to neutralize and uplift and transmute uh, negative energy, harmful energy into uh, something a little more positive. So you can definitely do that, uh, but it, it's important for you not to freak out. It's important for you not to obsess over the protective measures because that's also a hindrance. Uh, but yeah, uh, tarot is neutral. The cards are cards. Uh, and until you direct them, until you program them to, to read, to, to do for you what you need them to do, um, they're neutral. You know, they, it's a lot like the, the ignorance around the Ouija boards and people automatically assuming that they just call in demons. It's just fucking stupid. It really is. I'm just dumb. Uh, and, you know, the other question that I was asked uh, in regards to tarot is how to uh, build your confidence, how to... Um, make sure that you, when you read for people, that you have that confidence, how to uh, build that uh, comfortable expression and interaction with the cards. And the, it's honestly a very easy uh, answer. Practice, practice and practice, you know, work with the cards daily, uh, practice your cards, practice reading, read as much as you can and then read books as well. You know, the more that you understand, and not just books on tarot cards, books on um, personalities and relationships. Uh, there's this book about the five love languages, and that's an awesome book to read, especially when you're um, reading for people who, who are seeking to have a relationship or couples. Um, the more that you understand human nature, as well as a, as well as a spirit nature, the, the the better you are at, at reading for people, the more you connect with people, the more you uh, build relationships, the more you communicate, the more that you invest yourself in, in life, the more you will build a, a, an internal database for you to understand uh, uh, personality, understand connection, or understand the relationship. And that helps a lot when you read for people. Uh, understanding body language, understanding, you know, symbolism, and not just what specific imagery means to like uh, society or, you know, the masses, but taking into consideration what different uh, images represent for different people, and then figuring out what that image represents to you personally. So when you're reading for someone and you see a specific image, uh, it will tell you a story. It will filter through all of these images and these colors will filter through your internal, you know, internal library or internal uh, system. And then you will relay the message. 
understanding color uh, and what it means, uh, what it means to you. Um, and again, practice. The more that you do readings, the more that you work at, you know, combining cards and, and allowing them to tell a story and not just reading one, 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 but really helping those cards to flow together. Uh, the more you do that, the better you become, the better you become, the more confidence that you have in yourself. Uh, you know, that's, uh, that's a great way, obviously, uh, to to build confidence uh, uh, connecting with your deck. You can also, you know, I um, mentor. I mentor for quite a few things, but tarot is my passion, and I mentor in, in tarot. So if you want to work with me, uh, message me, and we can set something up, and um, I'd be honored to, to help you embrace the cards and, and build that confidence in that relationship and uh, create like a custom uh, program for you and work with you. I, I love these things. The cards are, the cards are perfect and, and they're wonderful and, and they help a lot. So, and you know, there's uh, Dusty White uh, has two books out. Uh, the first book is White, what is it? Um, it's like the easiest way you'll learn tarot ever, something like that. And then Advanced Tarot Secrets. Those two books are pretty awesome. You know, I got a lot from them. They have a lot of techniques, and he explains it really well. Um, and then he also has a, a podcast, a podcast that is free. And he gives away so much information. Um, and, and they're fun to listen to. They're fun to um, work with and utilize. And the more that you start to seek um, sort different different sources when it comes to tarot, the more you start to understand how uh, the cards influence many people and seeing how the cards are in interpreted through other uh, individuals that helps you to really fine tune and understand what they mean to you. But yeah, so yeah, tarot, evil forces are not automatically attracted to these cards they're just not no um and you know to the people who express that ask them why ask them why they believe the way they believe what what is it in their experience that makes them say that you know ask them questions uh and to build confidence you just practice practice work with a mentor um purchase a few books, work through them, go on YouTube, you know, Deviant Witchery, uh, we ha we do uh, tarot and the deviants, and, and we've expressed a lot of tarot content through through those shows, and, and look those up, and those are fun. Uh, but yeah, have fun with them, you know, work with them, use them, uh, connect with them, meditate with them, uh, take them with you. Uh, how how does this card feel today? What do I first see? What colors are standing out? What does what do those colors mean? Uh, you know, ask yourself questions and, and and keep answering them and feeling these cards, and then you build confidence. So yes, that's how you do uh, tarot confidence. That's how you you build your confidence, building relationships, understanding uh, you know the language of symbols and and color and and all that, as well as negative shit is not automatically attracted to tarot cards. It's a bunch of bullshit, and that's that, y'all. So if you have any questions uh, about tarot, if you have anything that you like me to address, always you know feel free to message me, comment, uh, and have fun. Peace.